Okay, morning guys. Before we go Welcome to day two of week 10. Uh, no, it's not even week 10, it's week 12. Day two, week 12 of the Guildford City Fitness live stream. Thanks for joining in live. Make sure your warm up area is nice and clear and you've got a drink ready to go with the backstroke warm up, starting with squat to hip lift and then windmill. And then we're doing card game to finish up at the end. Make sure your back stays nice and flat on the hip lift. And then when you finish that, turn it into a windmill. So, stand up. morning from Edith, from Charlie and from Harry. How are you doing Edith, Charlie and Harry? Morning from Praness. Morning from Joe. Morning from Anon. Happy Tuesday, guys. Morning from Lily Johnson. Morning from Tom. Morning from Danny and Sophia. Hope you're all feeling good today. I am now. Make sure when you do the windmills, you're doing a big old RDL. So you try to get as low as you can. Morning from Eleanor, from Ella, and Scarlett and Michael. Okay. How are you for? It's a uh, stream line lunge and then ball slides. So three on each side. Try not to interlink your hands. So you're trying to push, you get ready by pushing your arms back. So it's that lunge. Morning from Scarlett, morning from Grace, morning from Sam. Uh, morning from B. Morning, Jordan and Demi. Looking forward to today's session. Good. Um, More slides. Oh, Matthews, that is... Tegan. Tegan, thank you. Um, and morning from... Uh, morning from Luke. Um, How's it going, Luke? Morning from Dari. Good morning, Dari. Mm. That one's from. Dem Demeter. What? How you doing, Dari? Oh, we said that way. We said it again. Uh, and then, <laughs> alternate shoulder rolls, which I famously mess up every Tuesday morning. So one going back forwards, like backwards, one going forwards. Then they start to turn your thumbs as you go through to start the Thumbs pointing in towards your body and then facing the other way. And then go three rolls in the other direction. Uh, morning from Isabel. Hey Isabel. Nope, still fluffed it on the last one. And then split jumps. You can pace these up however you want. Number one, I just do them static and then you can build it up for the last, last couple. So it's card game. Give a watch on so I can time it. Exercises are going to be in whatever order they come out of the deck. But squats, streamline lunge, jumping jacks or star jumps, and toe touches. Right. Ready to go? Mm -mm. Ten spades. Two, one, go. So by the fall, that's going to be tough touches. Uh, morning from Morgan and Phoebe. Hey Morgan and Phoebe. So keep your knees straight so you might get all the way down to your toes. Just trying to stretch out your hamstrings. Start your morning. And go. Four diamonds. Diamonds. Squats. Eight diamonds. Eight diamonds. Four squats. Eight 
Make sure you knees out to the side, make sure your lower back doesn't round. If it does, just don't squat as low. Okay. Five clubs. Clubs. Be jumping, uh, star jumps. Uh, morning from Nun and Nugget. Sorry I'm late. Okay, so. Uh, that's it. Nope, not down. Rest time. Oh, okay. So that means hearts are split, are streamlined. Well, the split squats. Yep. Lunges. Two, one, go. So, five hearts. Five hearts. So that's a meat. Lunges. Three. Four. We'll just round these up to be even. Five. Six. Um, eight clubs. Uh, eight. spades, sorry. Spades. So that's... Toe touches. Toe touches. This is eight. Mm -hmm. Seven. Eight. Four hamstrings. And five diamonds. Five diamonds. Ah! Squats. Yeah. So if you end up having to round your back like that to get all the way down, just go as low as you can with a straight back. Okay, next we'll turn one more. Five clubs. Clubs. Jumps. Mm -hmm. So morning from five. 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 Manon and Nugget, sorry I'm late and she did. Lots of smiley faces, lots of hamsters and kiwis. Kiwis. Um, How's and kiwis? Good morning from Clelia. Alright. How's it going Clelia? Woo. Right, movement skill session to start off with. So 35 on. Four sides on both sides of the equation today. Frog stand, Superman, so you've got a foam roller for that to make sure you're, uh, you're balancing properly. Rotation plank and then lateral lunge. If you happen to have a frisbee, then go for that so we can show you how to do lateral sliders. If not, use a tea towel if you've got laminate flooring or slippy socks. If not, just do lateral lunges and I'll show you how to do both. So, 35 seconds of frog stands in. Two, one, go. Right. Let's see what these are doing this morning. Just did a lot of push-ups. Seems to have helped, that's annoying. Hmm. Oh, not that much. Mm. That's the pillars are for, so if it doesn't happen, let's go for a wall hold. Curly is a little sleepy today, but I will wake up. Well, Curly, the secret is that's exactly how I feel uh, on uh, the morning videos as well. Okay, frog stands, you then go into Superman's. In two, one, go. That's what round one's always a struggle, and then they feel much better as you go through. I'm always sleepy. Oh, Demi literally sleeps between video one and two. Yeah, I just curl up on the floor. Oh. <laughs> I should, I, I should and start And I sometimes I sleep during video one and two. <clears throat> Sorry, you were going to say? Oh, I forget. Ah, five seconds left. Okay, this is why I like this one as a marker of how you're feeling on the on the day. Relax into a rotation plank. Then one day I might just start video two without telling you. I'm gonna leave you in the middle of the floor. <laughs> well, two, okay. one, go. Make sure your warm up here is clear and just kind of roll you off to the side. <laughs> you're already been watching. <laughs> no, I was. <gasps> sorry. Maybe, probably a good thing. <laughs> I'm insulting me. Well, I just pull them on under the duvet and roll you off the floor. Yeah. Nice and slow. So you're doing a lot of pulling with your core and control that rotation. Honestly, if you only do like three on each side, if you're going this slow, stop. You're going to gain so much more from doing it. So give it a try, and then you are into lateral lunge. In two, one, go. So a normal lateral lunge, stand on one foot, at the side, go as low as you can. 
drag your foot backwards. So that drag is going to make you feel a little squeeze. Which you know, so like your finishing breaststroke kick. If you have a slider, switch sides. Makes it easier to just slide out that way. And you pull back by driving down with this leg, pulling in with the other one, and then relax. 20 seconds off. Then you're back into frog stance. In two, one, go. I'm going to try and use the wall for a bit of support as well. Hold it for at least a couple of seconds, just go to wall holds. Relax. Into rotation plank, Superman. Wanky, wanky. Two, one, go. Because if you're feeling brave, you can go for static holds. Uh, my mum is better than me, but she has to leave at 8.25 to go to her online school. As long as you're enjoying it, my mum. My mum, my daughter is still enjoying online school. Misses the socialisation, huh? Oh. oh boy, it's taking a lot of effort. Relax. Rotation plank. In, two, one, go. Let's see how, how long you can make each rotation last. You can even try and throw a leg raise into the mix. Down, rotate. And stop. See how that one goes for you. Start building it up. Then lateral lunge. In two, one, go. So you try and make sure you stay up upright. So you don't want to go, you can go much further if you lean forward. But you're not going to lengthen those muscles as much as you want to. Switch sides. So you're trying to get that pull to a big single leg drive with your core on that leg and then stop. And a literal pull with the straight one. That's what makes the slider so helpful. One more break, back into frog stance. In, two, one, go. So when you incline yourself, make sure you've got a nice straight line. Try to have the back of your toes on the door. seconds left just be able to squeeze your core and your hips the whole way through that and then relax then supermans in two one go so you're like holding the press up plank Alternate. 
from one side onto the other. No. Just like that. If that happens, just go without. Or take it back a step to this and just hold. Two, one, relax. Into rotation plank. In. Two, one, go. Look nice and slow. Lift your hips up, push down with your, your other hand. Fifteen seconds left. flash for lunge. So if you don't have a frisbee, two, one, go. Just step, step out and then pull back. So we go a bit more shallow. Alternate sides. Just make sure one leg stays straight, the other one bends up. So keep your belly button close to one side rather than going out to the middle. So it's more like a single leg squat. Last few seconds. Make sure your feet still pointing in the same direction. And relax. And then one minute break. So if anyone's struggling today and needs me to suggest anything else in terms of pushing or pulling back, then uh, just let me know. Part two today is all focused around core strength. So dead bugs, up downs, over unders, and plateau kicks. So dead bugs, ideally double, if not single. But if you want to try and progress yourself, go with the double. Don't push all the way. Up downs, forearm plank, and press up plank. Over under. This one's going to be quite savage. So, from this position, then it's a flutter kick on the next exercise. Last couple of seconds, make sure you've had a drink. And then you're going to go into dead bugs. I'm going to put foam roller on my feet just to make it more complex. And two, one, go. So remember, if your back starts to arch, just make it simple. You can still do double dead bug, just don't go all the way with your legs. So if you get to here, and you're conscious of your back, stick with that. It's going to help you progress more, I think, than just doing alternating single arm. So this, and stop. Just go to the point where you feel it's starting to change, and keep in the movement. Up downs. Lily Johnson got to leave at 8.30 as well for school. Okay. Oh, thanks Lily. Two, one, go. So, up down, start from press up plank. So this is another thing I think, as a club, we do better than most of the video demos I look up. So you should almost be able to do this with the foam roller on your back as well. You're trying to go from one to the other without rocking your hips. Like that. Because if you just do this, it becomes very easy. You start getting the habit of letting your body be controlled by gravity. Relax. Over under, we'll take it out of the over unders. So, over under in two, one, go. So, like I said, I'm very conscious of time and people leaving, so we over on that one. I'll take it off of this. So, we should finish the round at the same time. 
So keep the lower back as your focus. Make sure it doesn't arch at all. So you might have to do a big old reverse crunch and cross your knees over. Make sure they go outside your hips. So if you do that, it's much easier. Then a slow, controlled out sweep. Relax. Okay, I forgot to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take it out and flutter kicks. So we'll just do 25 seconds of flutter kick. In, two, one, go. To be honest, I warranted the talking time on over unders. Everyone hates them. I don't think anyone quite understands how good they are for you. So flutter kicks, make sure your knees stay fairly relaxed. You don't want to be like, just kick it up and down. When it's fluid motion, just keep your lower back pushed into the ground, relax. Almost over around there as well. Okay, now you're back to the beginning. 20 seconds off, take a drink. Get so dead bug in two, one, go. <coughs> Ooh, arms as well. <coughs> Less reps, a longer hold at the bottom part here is going to help you develop a lot more. And just smashing out quick reps like that. So if, you, if your foam roller does one like that, uh, relax. And up downs. Don't want to let it go away. Anyway, I need it. In two, one, go. So I quite like this for up downs because it just gives you that bit more feedback about what your hips are doing. Even if you have to spread your feet, it's still going to make you work harder. <sighs> Last few seconds. And relax. In, two, over, under. I'll try to keep the timers right. <laughs> In two, one, go. So feet go as wide as as you can with that with that, that arch in your lower back. So you find you can get to a certain point, you arch, just rein it in a bit. Shoulder width should be fine. So you're just trying to create movement around your hip. The focus, relax, is always going to be on your core controlling uh, your pelvic rotation. And then flutter kick to finish. In two, one, go. So again, if you start to feel your lower back is doing too much work, so everything on the back of your lower back there, just start doing this kind of motion to so bring your knees towards you. It's a bit smaller and easier. With the same outcome and that, because more of your weight is towards uh, your midsection. Relax. So the, more, the further apart your limbs are, the harder an exercise is going to be. So you can still do flutter kicks like this. So make sure your knees cross each other like that. This doesn't count. That's typically what you see if you tell people to bring their feet closer and do smaller movements. And dead bug again. Last round in two, one, go. Uh, what's the exercise called? Um, the one before the flutter kicks. Over unders. Then there's one foot's going over and one foot's going under. Oh. 
I'm just going with lower body for these dead bugs. Otherwise, it's still easier to, to string together. And relax. Oh, third round of T kicking in into up downs. In two, one, go. The same as shoulder taps. If you want to mix in some plank march, you're still controlling the rotation of your, uh, your lower body. Let's do it again, just try not to do that. In principle, the same thing, it's almost like a reverse hot kick. Or you can go shoulder tap if you find that easier than up down. And up down has that pressing part that makes it a bit harder. And relax. Just make sure if you shoulder tap, you don't do that rocking thing either. And over, run, over, under, in two, one, go. But we're going to start losing people in a minute for school. So look, don't get a chance. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. So look, keep focusing slow, deliberate movement and really press your lower back down. Last few seconds and relax. Hips are starting to get pretty clicky but it just means something's changing. And flutter kick in two, one, go. So flutter kicks are quite a lot easier if you have a little bit of arch and you just forget, if you can just hold that and forget about it. But you want a lot of your effort concentrated in here. If your hip flexors start to if you feel discomfort on the front of your hips, just make it a bit easier or have a little rest so you can refocus on your core. <sighs> Got last few seconds. I was talking to myself more than you lot there. And relax. The stomach's going to be burning today, but it's only going to help you uh, come better. So, foam rolling, starting with quads. Oh, and you can plank challenge today as well, that's going to be fun. And for all that, that core work. So, quad rolling, two, one, go. If you are shooting off for school early at some point, please make sure that you do go back and at least do this much mobility later on because you're going to need it <sighs> bearing when we're going back to training at some point <sighs> especially with all the rolling that people seem to be doing at the minute maybe you can check your quad mobility by standing up trying to pull your heel towards your hips and then relax, swap over Thank you, Jordan, Jordan and Demi, for an amazing session. I have to start online school now from Elena. Bye, Elena. Uh, good morning, Nancy. Hope the run was okay. It's probably the ideal weather to run, to be fair. Mm. Not to begin with, but like, once you get into it. And stop. Don't forget, if you need it, you can do the inside of your leg there, but the inside of your quad as well. If you get your hips on the floor, that's actually quite quite uncomfortable. Hamstring. I really wish I had some resistance bands because they're great for hamstring stretching. So flossing backwards and forwards like this. <laughs> side to side. And then swap over. You might find some people offering it as an alternative. If you ever been to a physio of a hamstring, you can do a slump. So if you sit on the edge of a table, let yourself slouch like this. Uh, thank you, John Capellia. 
Uh, thank you, Georgia and Danny. I hope you both have a great day. Matthews, who did he say that? Tegan. Tegan. Sorry, Tegan. I'll try and remember your surname. Um, thank you again for an amazing session from Edith. Thank you, Jordan. This was a great session. Me and Penef loved it. It's a lot of cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, yeah, so same thing with hamstring. We'll switch over. Right, slump forward. Start straightening your leg. You might feel it around your lower back, the bottom of your hips. But you might find it helps with your hamstring flexibility. So give it a try. And then you're into hip. balance yourself on top of it as much as you can. Now remember what I showed you last week. Ow. Cross your opposite ankle over your opposite knee. Like that. You might get a bit more feedback from that side of your hip. Uh, thank you for a great session from Grace. I really loved it. Uh, sorry, I forgot to click on it. No, don't worry, Deegan. I am trying my best to try and remember as many names as possible. There you go. You are very welcome as well, by the way, Grace. Switch sides. So if you find an area that's a bit more sensitive than the others, instead of trying to force it and move up and down, just stay on it. So you start to get familiar with, with that feedback and then kind of gently rock and then stop. With the lats, other side. Shoulder movement. Uh, Grace has put some kiwis. Why? <laughs> Thank you both. Love the card game from Luke. Whoa. Thank you, Jordan, so much. Can you guess who that one's from? Harry? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of my favourite ones to do. <laughs> Love that. Drama queen. <laughs> oh, man, you're very welcome, Luke. I'm glad uh, People are, people, people are sticking up for the card game. Oh. Let's switch sides. So for the last week or so, my, I've got nothing from my lats. I've been fibbing about it on the camera. But that was, just sitting there was getting me a lot of feedback. So I, I describe it as feedback, but I don't like talking about it as pain. Pain is very subjective. It doesn't really tell you if something's wrong or something's right. But it just means that whatever's happening in your muscle today, like there's some work, something you can work on. Um, being pain free doesn't mean that it's perfect either, but it gives you an idea of something you can do to work on your mobility and impact your recovery. And switch and chest. I mean, some people, I don't know if you've ever tested this, you might find that your quads are so tight that just lying on the floor doing that will give you some feedback. It might be more doable than foam rolling. Thank you, Jordan and Danny, for a great session from Danny and Sophia with smiley faces and... Kiwis? Yes. Oh. It's going to come like bean thing. Yeah. Well, the beans, I just thought they were absurd. Now they've been completely converted. Oh, switch sides. That works pretty well. So the, the arm recoveries you do on the Monday warm-up. <laughs> Pilt those into the, the foam rolling. Um, you can try and do that hip lift that I showed you last week. To balancing your chest on top of the foam roller. Oh, even that little movement there. It's doing quite a lot. Then just use your hand to walk your arm around. Again, it's going to give you some different sensations. Just to walk through. The best situation you can be in, stop there. With your foam rolling is for it just to become quite like one fluid motion. So you might find that instead of just doing like a lot of like 30 seconds start the clock on one muscle, you'll just kind of explore, move up and down, maybe go from quad onto your side, and then just translate that onto lats. And you just end up trying to answer questions that your body 
gives you instead of just like going block. It's probably going to have a more holistic effect that will help your overall recovery. Uh, pie challenge, enjoy school, have a great day. Thank you for joining in live. And then from everyone at Guildford City, we want to uh, wish you a very, very good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.